Hey YouTube, but this is just a quick video. I'm not gonna do the whole video of the flap method for the uh, flex gate, but uh, I just wanna show you in this one because it actually came out real good. Uh, so best method for the flex gate, uh, flex gate uh, cable repair, and how to measure the proper length. So this is just gonna be a short video, but uh, I'm gonna go for the main things here. So. The way I cut the cable, the, the original cable there, the one that that's the part of this thing, basically. Okay, so the way I cut it, this is just 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 a little bit over the edge, so so it sits. You know, you can do it a little bit longer, but so the way it sits, you know, as you can see, the way it sits on my little tool means hard drive caddy basically what it is so it just sits here really nice and I can easily work on it you know by holding uh, the edge you know and scrape things scrape it so just a little bit over the edge and uh, the best way as you know as you can see here is the top cable the one uh, the new cable you prepare from the other side and scrape it a little bit on this side so you can you can see and match the traces as you can see this is you know this is you know came out pretty good maybe a little bit on that side but this is you know it's not going anywhere and this is all pretty straight up so and uh, the way you solder it is basically you flap this top cable a little bit away you know not not the same not exact so you have to prepare them both you have to prepare them both basically with the solder and then uh, weak, weak both sides so uh, there are no solder so they have to be basically flat no solder weak them weak them basically okay use weak on both sides when you apply solder when weak them both so they uh, uh, there's no blobs of solder on both cables and then you put them together like that Like like so. Let me the camera. It's not going all the way. I want to make sure it's all in focus here. Okay. Okay. So you can see there's a line here. Let me push it. There's a line. So this cable, the top cable, is moved a little bit aside. So the traces on the bottom cable are open, and then you press one, you know, go one, one by one, little by little, as I, as I'm gonna show you right here. And apply a little bit of solder again. So you go little by little, one by one, and then you wanna make sure that you press them together, and you just kind of move your iron. Okay, this here, this, this one, this one okay so this way you are 100 sure that everything is soldered properly yeah in this case you're gonna be 100 percent sure that this is all soldered the way it should be. Same over here. Okay. I don't want too much here. Like so. When you press each pad. And this way they're all bridged and they're all really nice and the solder flows in and they're not going absolutely anywhere okay so this is the best way I found on the flap method so uh, so you are hundred percent sure on the first try that this cable is gonna work okay and then to let me clean it up now and then to find once again I explained it in my other video for the camera but it's a long one so this is going to be a short one so what? 
Okay, so in order to find the proper length for this cable, for the flap, okay, so you attach your original cable you cut. Kind of, you can actually use a little bit of tape too. Kind of taped it, tape it in place and then so it's not moving itself. Okay, apply it properly here. Okay, like so, and then in order to find the flap. You basically use this, okay, and just has to be a little bit longer, like this, like so. This is going to be perfect. Once again, see the original cable ends where it ends there. Come on, man, I have to move a little bit here, okay. So original cable, original cable ends there, okay, goes here and the new cable has to be a little bit longer, like about, I usually, you know, I usually end with like at the center, so this, uh, this, this metal part kind of ends in the center of this one, okay, so this is, I found the perfect, perfect length. Okay, and then you just kind of flap it like that and make it flat there. And after that, you apply, you remove that thing, apply, you know, clean it up, clean this up with the uh, this alcohol. Apply a little bit of glue under under here, okay, under that side. And I use uh, I use uh, uh, fabric tape. Which works pretty per perfect, uh, perfectly for me. And don't forget to cut a little, a little bit. You know, on the I messed up this one a little bit, but it's it's fine. Make sure to cut this this part on the antenna cable right here, so it moves freely. Okay, so that's that. So this is the the best way I found for the uh, flap method to warp to be 100% done in the, on the first try. As you can see, flap it so, so we can talk a little bit. As you can see, this, these connections right here, they are pretty perfect in my, in my opinion. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna, as you can see, This is absolutely 100% sure way of making those contacts, okay? So that's that. Some of them actually went in a little bit, not exactly straight, but yeah, the cable is going straight, so this is that's all good. Okay, okay awesome, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a lovely day, guys.